Hi students, welcome. So today in our projection of solid topic, our given problem is a hexagonal pyramid of base edge 25 mm and height 50 mm rest on one of its base edges on the HP with its axis inclined at 30 degree to the HP and parallel to VP. Draw its projection. Clear. So, this is the hexagonal pyramid while tilting the component and one of its base edges because in that base edges total 6 edges are there clear in hexagonal pyramids the base 6 edges are there while tilting one of its base edges is resting on HP. So, let us consider the hexagon let us in this way while tilting only corner is resting on HP but in this case the edge is resting on HP. Therefore, instead of that number 1 and 2 let us we select number 2 as per our problem number 2 is correct one. First we draw one x y reference line then our, our solid is hexagonal. So, therefore, first hexagon as per the given size the 25 mm side and 50 long hexagon. So, this is pyramid. So, while the pyramid is resting on HP in top view the base hexagon is visible and all the slant edges also visible therefore, the slant edges also made it by H pencil dot. Here all the slant edges from base it meets to the apex point clear. So, therefore, all the slant edges also made it dark. So, this is one is base A, B, C, D, E, F and apex O clear. So, draw the projection line from A, F, B center O and E, C, D the projection line. Now, before tilting the total solid is lies on HP clear the base is resting on HP. Therefore, so the base of the external pyramid is like resting on HP and axis long how much in this problem 50. So, you draw 50 clear. So, this is one. So, here A dash comma F dash B dash comma E dash C dash comma D dash and apex O dash. So, first the true shape is visible in top view and front view the triangle and visible edges O A O B O C is visible in front view the O D O E and O F are invisible hidden line, but here the visible and invisible hidden lines both are overlapping therefore finally the visible edges only is appears clear. And then while the tilting the component when the axis inclined 30 degree, so we draw 30 degree line that is axis. So, the axis is inclined 30 degree means definitely the base is 60 degree because the axis and base both are right angles to each other clear. So, therefore, from B to C how much distance is there same distance ok, but the distance measured from perpendicular of axis to x y the distance from here to here how much same distance. So, therefore, here to here then axis long is 50 no. So, from here to here 50 clear. So, same diagram let us assume. So, this is diagram number 1, this is diagram number 2. We know that second diagram and third diagram both are same shape and size no. So, same diagram, same size only one difference here the axis is perpendicular to HP, here the axis is inclined 30 degree to HP. So, assign the letters A dash, B dash, C dash comma D dash B dash comma E dash and A comma F dash and its apex O dash. Then you draw the projection lines from A F B E 
C D clear then apex O. Similarly from diagram number 1 from E from F comma D apex O A and C and B clear. So now the intersection points note down A and A, A and A, B versus B, C versus C like D, E, F and apex O and O. So this is O, this one is A, B, C, D, E, F clear projections are over and intersection points and assign that letters. Then while seeing the top view this is final after inclination this is the final front view. Now we want to draw top view. So while seeing the top view clear. So the base hexagon is not fully visible clear. So left portion is visible that means while seeing that E F a B this part is visible this B C D E invisible B to C invisible C to D hidden line invisible and D to E invisible clear right and then the O A slant edge visible O F slant edge visible similar case O to B and O to E that is the axis and it is above these points all the edges are slant edges are visible the bottom most OC and OD invisible clear. So the bottom most OC invisible therefore hidden line by H pencil because it is a invisible object clear. Next one remaining OA, OF, OB and OE are visible so OB. O A, O F and O E clear. So E to F, F to A, A to B visible, B to C, C to D and D to E invisible clear. So similar case the visible edges along with o, apex join it and this C to O like D to O this answer clear right. So this is our problem and its solution clear. Finally we get fourth one. Thank you.